welcome to Horrorverse. My name is Cody Hawk, and today we're going to be talking about the third installment in the um, Devil's Rejects. I, I don't know what the name is for this, this trilogy, but the third installment in this trilogy, and that's going to be Three from Hell, um, which I didn't even know came out. Um, it was not playing in my movie theater here, so I was just going to wait until it came out on DVD, and it came out super quick. Um, which I do know it didn't get a big release. Um, it only played like two or three nights in theaters and it was very select theaters. And because um, I do know that the production company didn't give him much of a budget for this movie. Um, now, before I talk about this movie, I do want to say I, I enjoy most of his Rob Zombie's movies. Um, Devil's Rejects and House of Thousand Corpses are obviously my favorites. They're amazing movies. I love them. Um, Let's see, 31, I actually kind of like 31, a lot of people didn't like it, but I enjoyed it. And I'll probably get a lot of hate for this, but I also enjoyed his Halloween remakes. Um, this part two, not as much, but the first one, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that movie. I thought he did a good job with it. Um, and then he's got some other ones like Lords of Salem and stuff like that, which I wasn't a big fan of. But, I mean, you know, all directors are hit and miss. Um, but for Three from Hell... I'm a little on the fence about this movie. Um, I mean, we, they brought back, you know, most of the cast, or at least, I guess, the important cast. Um, they brought back Sid, ha Sid Haig, which is awesome to see him again. I do know this was his last movie before he sadly passed away. Um, they brought back Sherry Moon, um, Bill Mosley. I mean, they, you know, they brought back quite a few characters for this movie. Um, Danny Tre Trejo, Tre I can never say his name, I think it's Trio. I can never say his name. He was in this movie. Um, a few little, you know, p uh, different people in it. And like I said, I'm very on the fence about this movie. But I mean, more or less, it's uh, ten years from the ending of Devil's Rejects, which a lot of people think that was the perfect ending to this family. Um, which I do agree. I feel like that ending was great. Um, and the first thing I thought when I started watching this movie was how the hell did they live? Like, was he going to retcon the ending? What was going to happen here? Was it going to be something kind of creepy, you know, like sadistic, like, you know, stuff from House of the Thousand Corpses? Did someone bring him back to life? You know, what was going on? Um, it wasn't that. I'm not going to tell you what, but it was very simple. They didn't go much in depth about how it was very straight to the point, easy, which I did not like. Um, but so then you get 10 years later and that's when the movie basically starts um you do see do see Sid Haig this might be this will be a little bit of spoiler but you do see him for about 10 minutes um and that was it um because I do know he was extremely sick and he wanted to come back as Captain Spaulding but um he was just in such rough shape he couldn't be in the movie long and that's one of the things I heard, I don't know if it's true, I heard what's one of the reasons this movie was even made was he really wanted to reprise his role as Captain Spaulding because he knew he was incredibly sick, he knew it would be around much longer, um, which could explain also the plot of this movie not being that great, not being a very solid plot. It could just be Rob Zombie is rushing through this movie to basically help a friend. If, if that is the main reason, then the problems with these movies, I do understand more because the plot is extremely rushed I mean I don't know if you'd really call it rushed it just wasn't thought about like there wasn't much thought put in this it's kind of almost the devil's rejects reboot uh, I mean it's there's a lot of stuff that happens to this that's the exact same as devil rejects just done a little differently um, with a couple different characters you know and stuff like that um, but I mean all the people in the movie did great Cherry Moon was she was extremely over the top but in this one baby was kind of going crazy i guess or had already gone crazy more than she had in the previous two films so that kind of under i understood that um bill mosley's character um otis amazing i loved every second of him um and then their uh, i think this, i can't remember if they said it was a stepbrother or something but their brother um I'm not going to be able to tell you the name because I don't remember, but it's the um, the main clown or killer from 31. Um, he's been in a couple of Rob Zombie movies. He was amazing. Um, what they call him, the Lone Wolf Man, I think was his name of this movie. 
Um, he was great. I mean, all the the cat, the acting was great. That uh, amazing. And I like this type type of style of movie. Um, the really gritty grindhouse Quentin Tarantino esque vibe to the movie. I like that. The gore was good. One thing I wasn't a big fan of, which I'm not a big fan of any movies or horror movies, any movie really in general, is CGI blood. Um, I don't know if that's cheaper to do than practical effects for it. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about movie ed making. Um, but I've noticed that in a lot of movies that are either being rushed or don't have much of a budget, they do CGI blood. So that's what I'm going to assume is it's cheaper. Um, it didn't look good. I mean, there were still some scenes of practical blood, um, but a lot of times when people get shot, stuff like that, it was CGI'd, which I had a problem with, but it's not something that's gonna, like, make me hate the movie. Um, but I'm seeing this movie get a lot of hate, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I can see that in two different ways, because I know a lot of people probably hate it on it, because they don't like Rob Zombie's movies. They don't think he's a good director and writer. And I can understand that, because his movies, like Quentin Tarantino, in my opinion, some of his movies, is a specific taste. You know? So my um, batteries, my microphone died, so I had to get some batteries real quick. Um, but what I was saying is, Rob Zombie's movies take a specific taste. A lot of people don't like these really gritty, not good looking movies because he's doing that on purpose to make it look a specific way. Um, you know, they look a little bit cheaper done. Um, they're really nasty, violent. Movies, you know, that um, fuck with your head. I mean, they're weird movies. Like, the entire Devil's Reject series, you like the main characters. You like Sid Hayes' character. You like Otis, you know, and Baby and all those. And they're fucking murderers. Like, it's it fucks with your head that you like these characters and you want them to live almost. But they're bad guys. And a lot of his movies are like that. Um, and some people don't like that. So that's one spectrum I see. And the other one is people that do love his movies, like me and a lot of other people out there in the world, that are disappointed in this movie because of the way Devil's Rejects was so well done and so executed and the perfect ending. Um, but then you get this one. Um, and I've heard a lot of people say, and I would probably agree, that if this movie was put in the middle, if it's a thousand corpses, three from hell, then Rejects, I mean, obviously they would have changed the beginning, but that would have been really good. I think a lot of people would enjoy this more if it wasn't after Devil's Rejects. And I do agree with that to an extent, um, but I'm not going to say I hated this movie. I'm not going to say I wasn't a big fan of it. I enjoyed the movie. Um, I love the characters that are in it. And like I said, the story was rushed, but it was still fine. Like, it was still fun to watch. Um, I mean, some of the kill, the deaths in this movie really interesting and very, you know, for a horror movie, very well done and executed. Um, some extremely fucked up things happened in this movie. Um, I mean, it really is a worse version of Devil's Rejects, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, but I did enjoy it. Why, would I watch it again? Yeah, I mean, I think I would. Um, even some of his worst movies that I wasn't a big fan of, I would watch again because even though I might not like the whole movie, there's still a lot of it that I did enjoy. Um, so I don't get all the hate. Like I said, I get it from a critical standpoint. If you're strictly just a critic reviewer or you're not big into these type of movies or Rob Zombie movies, whatever, I could get the criticism. But I feel like if you're a fan of his movie, if you're a fan of him and you've enjoyed most of his other movies, there's nothing making not nothing in this movie that would make you not like it. Like I said, there are some problems with it. Um, there is some rushing in the in the story. There is some problems with um, Devil's Rejects being such a good ending, and with it being so good, and with the corpses being so good. Although well, a lot of people say they hated that movie, I thought that movie was great. I mean, out of the three, that was the one, only one really that I would count as a straight up horror movie. These two are kind of like horror thriller dramas almost. I don't really know the category of it. Um, but so yeah, I like the movie. Um, and I've never reviewed the, his first or Corpses or Rejects on here. And I'm not going to now. I'm not just going to throw a grade out there for those. I mean, if I, if I was going to do that, I will do a full review of them, which I might do at some point in the future. I don't know. But as far as this movie, um, 
like I said, I'm still kind of on the fence about it because there are some problems I have with it. But I still enjoyed it. I love the character of Otis. I love Baby. Um, you know, it's Sid Haig's last movie, uh, which I raised a little bit more. So I might get some hate for this. I don't know. I don't really give a shit. But I'm going to give Three from Hell a B minus. Um, so like I said, that 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 could change at some point. I might rewatch it and realize that I didn't enjoy as much as I had first viewing because I literally just watched it. Like I watched the movie, came in here, started recording. Um, or I might rewatch it and like it even more. But as of this moment, B minus is my score for Three from Hell. If you enjoy Rob Zombie movies, if you enjoy The Rejects, I would say go watch this. Um, you can buy this. I think it's a Walmart exclusive. Um, it's the Blu-ray. I'll bring it a little bit closer. It's the uh, Blu-ray DVD digital combo pack with a t-shirt. I don't have it. There's the t-shirt there. It's a picture that, uh, or a shirt they were wearing in the movie. Um, 17 bucks. Not bad. Even the 4K, which I almost got by one of this t-shirt. 4K was uh, 20 bucks. So it's not an expensive movie. Um, so I would say go pick it up. Especially if you have the other ones, check it check it out. But that's gonna be the end of this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. What's up guys, Cody from Horrorverse here. Just doing a quick update at the end of this review. I just did a free from hell. Um, I told you guys I went to, was going to Hell and Horror Nights. I was gonna get a bunch of footage and show you guys. So the footage, this is all the footage here. Um, haven't let it render. <clears throat> and then so I can edit it and all that stuff. Um, the plan was for this to come out Sunday. I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not because I was going to finish it all uh, Saturday. But we're actually going to a haunted house, haunted woods thing Saturday night. Um, so I can't guarantee I'm going to get this uploaded by Sunday, but I'm going to do my best. But I just want to let you guys know that I did get the footage. I am going to upload it. I just got to wait for it all to finish. So I hope you guys enjoyed the review of Three from Hell, and I'll see you later.